Uh, welcome again. Today I'm going to talk you through my time trial uh, setup for this weekend's race, which is held tomorrow. Uh, luckily, the weather got uh, really nice recently. It's quite warm, around 20-22 20, degrees Celsius. And the only problem might be the wind, but I'm starting at uh, 11 a.m. tomorrow, so hopefully it won't get too strong by then. So let's first talk about the bike, which is of course my track speed concept that I've shown you many times now in earlier videos. But today I'm going to only talk about the changes that I made uh, to it to suit this race. Okay, so let's just start at the front. Uh, of course, I still have my custom uh, air bar setup on there, which came up extremely clean looking. Uh, what I've done is, uh, additionally, is that I added some grip tape uh, to my extensions as well, because as far as I can remember from last year, the road there was quite rough. So I just wanted to make a, uh, to create some extra security there, and I also added some foam tape here under my shift cable so it doesn't rattle when I'm not holding on to the air bar which is not important but quite a good detail as well here we have the dog is pretty excited as well about uh, the ra upcoming race the front wheel I have on here of course is the 808 NSW unless it becomes extremely windy tomorrow I'm going to use uh, this wheel uh, otherwise, I'll be also taking the 454 with me, just to be sure. On tires, I have the Vittoria Corsa Speed uh, mounted on there for the least amount of rolling resistance. But I also think they improved the aerodynamics slightly because they are a bit narrower than the regular 23 mil courses. Uh, so they suit the shape of the rim better because even though these uh, wheels are very wide they have a very wide internal width as well so all tires come up pretty wide I hope it smells good okay then another nice detail I've added are these view speed titanium skewers which are only uh, basically axles in there no quick release mechanism so again they clean up the front of the bike and this area quite well. It's, it's, there is no big bobos quickly skewer uh, pointing out. Uh, I've also removed the triathlon storage uh, compartments which came integrated with the track frame. They are quite useful for training but I'm not gonna need them racing the draft box I took that off as well and bottle cage this is gonna be very short time travel just 18 kilometers so again not much uh, need for hydration there it's the frame of course pretty standard no uh, no storage mounted on there then if you get the drive train obviously it's a flat course so I'm gonna stick with my 54 chain ring and I have a super fast molten speed wax and a race powder applied chain in there. This is the YBN chain with the black coating on it. But I need to do a short ride today with it just to break it in because it's really quite stiff now and that might lose some efficiency. So I definitely need to break that in. Then standard Force One setup, ceramic speed pulley wheels re-oiled before the race also cleaned the whole bike just to give it a nice shiny finish dash TT9 saddle and the zip super 9 carbon clincher disc uh, again with the quarter speed tire I really like the fact about these clinchers that you can just change your tires from race tires to training tires anytime I normally train on the regular courses which are a lot tougher and more durable but in the races I switch to quarter speeds which I think are a bit bit faster. So cassette wise 
I have an 11 to 28 cassette in there. That's just because there are not really any heels on the course. So I just want to have my gears close to each other so I can hit my preferred cadence and power. Uh, if we're talking about power, this year I'm looking to average about 300 watts. Uh, obviously, this uh, course doesn't really suit my body type. I'm 60 kilos, more of a climber really, but nevertheless, I'm going to try my best. The bike uh, is up there with the best for sure. I don't think much of it can be improved to make it me faster, so basically it's all just up to me now. And tomorrow I'm also going to debut my S-Works Sub-6 shoes, which are said to be more than aerodynamic than the standard ones, and they match really, really well with the bike. I also bought some black uh, cleat covers for there, so it's just a very stealthy setup overall, and supposedly very slippery as well. Uh, Obviously I'm going to use the warp sleeves as well and also the rough uh, time trial socks which I bought just recently and I've used them before but they're interesting because they have basically skin suit material on the upper part when it's sticking out of your shoe and I think this setup is going to be much faster than a standard time trial overshoe at least according to the tests. Helmet wise, I'm going to use the Giro Arrowhead, which I've shown you earlier, but I've made a slight modification to it, so I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, now I have the helmet here as well. Giro Arrowhead, again, all matte black to suit the rest of the package. Clean my visor a bit and wash the inners. And I've also taped the wens, so basically I've got the ultimate version now with this super smooth surface. Uh, hopefully I'm not gonna overheat in these 20 and something minutes uh, while I ride. And these should save an, an additional two to three watts. So yeah, this is basically the ultimate speed package. Uh, skin suit wise, I don't have my custom uh, no pins skin suit ready yet, so I'm going to use my box skin suit, uh, which I used last year. It's basically the only thing I'm carrying over, but I like it. It's well designed and supposedly very fast as well. One of the very few non custom. Uh, time show suits, so I'm sticking with that one. Uh, and now, in some pictures, I'm going to show you my last year's setup, which was quite similar, but everything basically was a generation older. So, old track speed concept, old older zip 808 and discs, boxerable helmet, and Giro Empire SLX shoes. So we're we'll looking into that as well.